My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. My name is Luke, thank you very much for tuning in. This series is all about the gear that I like the most, the products that I love to use. The focus is the Swagman Roll from Helicon Tex. This is a very impressive piece of kit that's not only very versatile, but also multifunctional. You can use this for a variety of purposes. You can use it with a poncho as a liner. You can use it as a blanket, as a quilt, as a sleeping bag, as a pillow. You can even wear this as a jacket. Initially, I reviewed this two years ago, and since that point in time, I've continued you to use it season after season. In this episode, I'll be explaining to you all why I like it so much and how I personally use it. And you never know, by the end of this episode, you may decide that you want one yourself. Now, of course, that's completely up to you. This channel is agenda free. I don't care if you buy this. I purchased this with my own money. And what I'm sharing with you all today is based upon multi years worth of use of this product. <laughs> Normally in these episodes, folks, I begin talking about why I like a product so much, but in this case, because there's so much to it, allow me to show you all what this product does, what it can do, and then we'll go from there. To start off, let's talk about what you receive if you purchase this product, and then we'll talk about the product itself. You do receive this storage sack. This is one of two ways that you can store this product. On the inside is, of course, the Swagman Roll. From there, you can unroll it, and now you have a sleeping bag. If you're laying inside of it, on the left-hand side, you have a zipper. That zipper goes all the way down and around, and now you have a blanket or a quilt. From the blanket configuration, you can see that there is a hole in the center. That is a hood. From here, you can take this and you can put it on very much like a poncho. This here is the poncho configuration. You can sit down around camp if you want to. You can put your backpack on. You can hike like this. Now to put this on, I did have to take my hat off. And that's because this hole here, this opening, it's quite small. These, my friends, are just a handful of examples of what you can do with this product. You can use it on the ground. You can use it in a hammock. You can use it as an underquilt with a hammock and so on. With all of that, you should be able to see that this is definitely a very versatile piece of kit. That, everyone, is a very quick overview of what the Swagman Roll is and what it can do. If you want more information, check out my review. I go over every single aspect, every stat, every function, every feature. Now let's focus on why I like this product so much and why it works so well with my outdoor style. By the way, you will find a link to my review in the description box down below. One of the biggest reasons why I like this product is because it's so versatile. You can use this for countless different types of adventures and for different purposes. Again, you can use this with a poncho as a poncho liner. You could use it as an outdoor insulating layer. You can wear it with a backpack. It can be a sleeping bag, a blanket, a quilt. You can use it inside of a hammock as an underquilt. You could also use it as a pillow and for other purposes. You can also use it as a secondary insulation layer with a sleeping bag. So in the colder months, you can add this component to increase the warmth of your sleeping bag. It weighs one pound, 11 ounces with the storage bag. That's not a lot of weight when you consider what you can do with this product and how it can assist you on your trip. Along with the low weight, you have a product that's rather compact. You can compress this quite a bit and it goes not only into the storage bag, but also that center pocket and basically takes on the shape of a pillow. As a sleeping bag with my testing, I have found that this really works well with temperatures above 50 degrees. I've seen some YouTube videos where people claim to use it at like freezing with nothing but regular clothes on. That's absolutely not true at all you will freeze to death with this product at those temperatures. That's nonsense. With that being said though, for myself, at temperatures above 50 degrees, this really does work well. Now, of course, temperature ranges are subjective. So if you're considering this product, I would highly recommend that you start at the higher end of the temperature scale and work your way down to find the sweet spot. You definitely don't want to take this out for a cold weather adventure to find out that this doesn't keep you warm at that temperature. So start high, work your way down. Next, everyone, this is a very quick to deploy and to put up product. I mean, you pull it out of the storage bag, you throw it down on the ground, you can hop in or put it on. I mean, it's super, super fast. The same applies for putting it up. Next, this product has proven itself to be a very durable piece of kit. Again, I've had this for over two years and it still looks brand new with the exception of some mud and dirt. As you all can see here, overall, this looks great. The overall quality of this is excellent. We're talking about very good materials. We're talking about a military grade insulation. It features a DWR treatment and all of the seam work, the stitching, everything looks great. Now, with that being said, with Helicon Tex, we have to say this. They are not known for their quality. In fact, Helicon Tex oftentimes pumps out products that look absolutely 
terrible. I've seen jackets that really do look inferior to even like Chinese made very cheap products, which is a shame. It's my hope that the company can focus on making quality products. They should focus on quality control and really pay attention to what's being shipped out. In the case of the Swagman roll, everything here really does look good. And in fact, I have two of these. One I purchased around six months ago and this one here, which is over two years old. Both top-notch, excellent quality. Talking about the one that I purchased recently, roughly six months ago, I purchased it because the company is now offering these in a wide range of colors. Previously, it was mostly like shades of green, but now you can find these in all sorts of wild colors. Lots of green shades, red, orange, all sorts of wild stuff. Some of these are quite cool looking. Next, folks, you can use this with a poncho, which is a nice feature. This is a product that you can appreciate on those cold fall mornings. It's raining out there, you have the poncho on. This really is nice for that purpose. Next, folks, the hood is fully adjustable and it's warm. And lastly, everyone, the price for this is not bad. It's not quite as good as it used to be. And that's because a long time ago when I reviewed this product, it was the only thing in town, the only thing like it. But now there's a lot of products out there that are very similar to this. For an example, the One Win Poncho costs a whole lot less than this, and it's almost as good. You will find a link to that down below and also my review. The biggest con that I have for this is that when you have this zipped up in sleeping bag mode, it is rather small. Make sure to pay close attention to the dimensions to see whether or not this can work for you. The saving grace, in my opinion, is this. This is designed for warmer conditions, where you don't have to be snuggled inside of this thing and you don't have to have it zipped up and tightened up right up to your neck. Because of that, I can let the smaller size of this go. But I can tell you this, I'm right at the point where if I had to be fully zipped up inside of this, it doesn't work. But going back to the main purpose of this, using this in warmer conditions, you have it unzipped on one side, you're using it as a blanket. If you get a little chilly, you can zip it all the way up. You can wear it as a poncho, you can use it as an underquilt in a hammock. I mean, for those purposes, they greatly outweigh that small con, which happens to be a rather small size. It's plenty long enough. It's just not quite wide enough. I would love to see the company make this roughly four inches wider. That would make a huge difference, but definitely for larger individuals, check the dimensions. Make sure this will work for you. I have all of that information in the review. You can check that out if interested. The only other con that I have for this would be the small head hole. You do have to take your hat off to get your head to go through. Naturally, if you have a huge head, it's going to be harder to get through that hole, but I've never heard of of anybody having a head so big that they can't get it to fit. <laughs> all of that sounds ridiculous. You know what I'm talking about though, so moving on. So to sum this all up, everyone, do I recommend this product? Absolutely. It is fantastic in just about every single way other than the size. This is a product from Helicon Techs that is absolutely top notch. I use it all the time in the warmer months as a standalone insulation layer, as a quilt, as a blanket, as a sleeping bag. And I also use it in the colder months as a secondary insulation layer. And for those purposes, it works amazingly well. Even though the price of this has continued to go up over the years, I can still easily recommend it. It's highly versatile. It's warm for what it is. It has a great form factor and it can do everything that a whoopee blanket could do and more. And that wraps up this episode. Make sure to comment down below what do you all think about the Swagman roll. I know that when I recommended this product years ago, it absolutely sold out all over the internet. Before you go, make sure to comment down below, hit the like button, consider subscribing. I do appreciate it. Again, everyone, the Outdoor Gear Review is completely agenda free. I'm here to share my thoughts, my opinions, and that's it. I'm not here to sell products. Again, I don't care if you buy this. It means absolutely nothing to me. I have no connection to this company. In fact, I'm pretty sure they wish I wasn't reviewing their products because oftentimes I'm really hard on them. If you been around on the channel here for a while then you know why anyways folks i am done everyone take care be well strength and honor i will see you all around soon bye for now i apologize for not holding this thing and really showing it off everyone it is so hot today Whew. i mean it's almost 90 degrees up here in the mountains and that's very uncommon it's just so hot all right everyone see ya Oh, 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 oh,